everyone, it's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to show you guys what I got from April's BoxyCharm and I'm also going to do a try on haul type of video with the items that I got. So this is the finished makeup look and also at the end of this video, I will also be sharing my thoughts on my subscription experience from BoxyCharm. Okay, so let's open the box. This box's theme is eye candy, I guess. And then, yep, it has all of the products in my box right here. And the first thing I'm grabbing from the box is this Dr. Brand Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. So it's a pore purifying mask. It's also a full-size product and it retails for $47. An extraction specialist unclogging and tightening the look of pores and reducing excess oil from the skin surface. I do have dry skin, so I'm kind of iffy about it, but let me try it on for you guys so after cleansing apply a thin layer to areas of concern avoid eyes leave on for five to ten minutes until dry a cooling sensation will occur rinse with warm water and pat dry use to three two to three times per week for maximum results i do have clogged pores right in this area of my face as well as my nose so i'm gonna concentrate the product on that alexa stop Now we have to leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes and it's starting to have that cooling sensation. It's like a tingly cooling sensation on my face. But yeah, um, I'll set an alarm and then rinse it off and I'll be right back. Alexa, set an alarm for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. There. I'll be right. Just a quick update. It started to get really tight on my skin. It's like really sucking out. The feeling is like it's sucking out my pores. I mean the clogness of my pores if that's a thing but it's starting to have like holes right here i'm not sure if you can see that on camera but i feel like it's actually working I so thoughts on the dr brand vacuum cleaner i do believe that it does what it did it does what it did that it does what it say it will do so it really did feel like it's sucking out the the cloggedness of my pores like all the impurities it felt like it really sucked it out like my skin right here was so tight but i do have dry skin so maybe that was it so that's why i only used it on this area where it's like prone to oiliness all the other areas it's too dry and this will like create dry patches i feel like so uh, that's what i did but to honestly see the difference i may have to use this a few more times i'll try to update you guys after i've used it for like a week or two because it does say that use it for two to three times per week and maybe then i will see a huge difference but right now it feels so clean like it has that cooling effect after as well which i think is perfect for summer it's super good i mean not the mana you'll use it for summer but then in the summer it's really hot so that cooling effect is just so refreshing Wait, anyway. i'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup and i'll be right back So I just did my face makeup and I used the highlighter that came with the boxy charm. So this is the Tardiest Pro Grow Liquid Highlighter. So it says glow like a goddess with this creamy highlighter that builds from sheer to intense. Ultra concentrated pigments and pearls are suspended in the hybrid gel cream oil-free formula that you can mix with your liquid foundation or wear alone for naturally lit luminosity. Infused with rose water, it slips softly onto skin and keeps moisture in with tapered, squeezable packaging to put the highlight exactly where you want it. This retails for $29 and I got the shade Exposed, which I also have the powder version of this. And it's what I used on my cheekbones, as you can see. It's perfect for my skin tone and I think it goes with any skin tone as well. So for this month, every box has a different ColourPop Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. And the one that I got is, oh my gosh, so funny story, my sister and I. So my sister and I are subscribed to BoxyCharm and we've been like praying that we don't get the My Little Pony 
eyeshadow palette. It's not about the fact that it's My Little Pony. It's more of like the packaging is kind of like kitty, so that's why we don't like it. It's not that we don't like the formula or anything or the shades and whatnot. It's just that the packaging throws me off. But anyway, long story short, my sister received her box first. She didn't get the palette that she wanted, but it wasn't My Little Pony. And it's a palette that she doesn't have, so yay for her. And then when I opened my box, surprise, surprise, I got the My Little Pony eyeshadow palette surprisingly. I mean, I've tried this. I tried the look just so I have a planned look of what I'm gonna use today. Look at the packaging. It's so kiddy. It's like a toy, but look at that holographic thing going on there. Now. I've actually never tried a ColourPop Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, so this will be interesting. And it does come with 3, 6, 9, 12. 12 eyeshadow shades right here. It's more on the pink and orangey tones. And yeah, I am just going to use this right now and try it on for you guys. Okay, so here is the makeup look that I came up with using the My Little Pony palette. Sur it was surprisingly good. I mean, at first when I was looking at it, I thought that I wouldn't be able to create a makeup look using just that palette, but it turned out pretty well. I also used this Cover FX Shimmer Veil that I got from my March... Was this March or... Feb it's either February or March BoxyCharm, which really emphasize the effect of that purple glitter on my lids. Okay. So the next item in the box is this the Brow Gal Tinted Eyebrow Gel. So it's a tinted eyebrow gel with microfibers to achieve a natural hair look. Perfect for the customer who wants a quick but natural fill to their brows. And this one retails for $22. I wonder what shade this is. So brown hair number two. Okay, hopefully this is the right shade. Wow, I love the packaging. The packaging is like matte. But yeah, here it is. So right now I don't have anything on my brows. I just tried to comb it a bit and... Okay, so thoughts on this brow gel, I love it. It filled in my brows pretty quickly and it has like fibers so it looks like real eyebrows. The only problem I do have with brow gels is the fact that I can't shape my brow because this brow right here is a little, is shaped a little bit differently as opposed to this one. That's why it looks like crazy but yeah. Surprisingly love it and I think I just found a better brow gel than the Benefit Gimme Brow. I mean, it was so easy to use and it filled it up really quickly. Just need to actually get my brows done so that it doesn't look like cousins. I don't know. Okay, the last item in this box is this Adesi. Ades? 
High Definition Liquid Lipstick Luxurious Creamy Long Wearing Liquid Lipstick provides the dazzling full coverage of a lipstick with the ease of wand applicator. Made with advanced polymers and intense pigments for long-lasting brilliant color and intense shine in a single sweep. Cruelty-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, and Europe-compliant. So this one retails for $24. I haven't actually heard about this brand before, but let's see. It doesn't say what shade it is. So if you got your BoxyCharm box and you know what this shade is, definitely do let me know. Because if not, I guess they only sell one shade. But the shade is really neutral, as you can see. Wow, I mean, all right, let me fix my f hair first before I give you guys my final thoughts on everything that I got from this month's BoxyCharm. Okay, so here is the finished makeup look and it surprisingly turned out a lot better than I expected and I honestly love everything that I got from this month's BoxyCharm aside from the My Little Pony, which surprisingly actually, sur surprisingly, I keep talking, anyway, Surprisingly, I love the My Little Pony palette. I never came up with a look like this before. It's actually so good that I got to experiment a palette that I would usually not to go look for or tend to buy. But yeah, anyway, I've been subscribed to BoxyCharm for three months now. I started in February and then March and then April, obviously. But yeah, I got the six-month subscription. So they lump sum it. You pay it ahead of time. So on the first month, you pay for the whole six months. But you get to save a little like a dollar per month. And if I'm going to eventually pay for it every month, might as well. So my sister has been subscribed since last year and always open her boxes and they always come with like full-size products. And a lot of the products are actually products that I can use. I actually subscribed for Ipsy um, a year ago and after the first month, I just canceled it right away because the travel size products is just really not working for me. I mean, I want to get them for free but not for something I wouldn't actually pay for them just because it's really a hit and miss. For a BoxyCharm, you pay $20 per month and you actually get five full-size products, which actually, even if you just get one product that you like, you actually just paid for that and the rest is just free. But when there are actually months like this month, April's BoxyCharm is off the chain, I liked everything. Everything in the box is set, something that I can actually use and that's a huge deal for me when I do subscription boxes. I have to make sure that I get to use every bit of it. If not, at least one and then I would just like do the math and make sure that I get what I pay for. The last two boxes, I know I love this one from last month's box or two months ago. I think February box and then they also almost always comes with brushes as well. So if you're just starting out with makeup, I do recommend BoxyCharm because you get to experience and experiment with a lot of different brands. And then you experiment with the products and it's just amazing but yeah a lot of the products on my face right now is from just from this month's box i mean that speaks a lot also in addition to like getting the products you always get like coupons that you can use saving is always good so yeah and that's it for today's video i will link the boxycharm website down below if you do want to subscribe to them and the products on my face will also be linked down below everything that i use and even my nails will all be on the description box so be sure to check that out and don't forget to like this video if you did like it and that's it for this video i'll see you guys next time bye